A GKM workers from the Unite Union have protested outside Parliament and lobbied MPs to stop a hostile takeover of the FTSE 100 engineering giant by Melrose. The £7.4 billion bid is opposed by GKN, but the union wants Business Secretary Greg Clark to use his powers to block it in the public interest. Workers fear Melrose would break up GKN, which is involved in key defence contracts like the F-35 and Typhoon fighters and move jobs overseas. One of those braving the cold at Westminster was Unite Assistant General Secretary for Aerospace, Steve Turner, and he joins me now. Steve, good to see you. Melrose have been great managers of business. Why are you so upset about this takeover? Well, we wouldn't accept the premise of the statement that Melrose are great managers of business. I mean, Melrose have no experience of managing a company the size of GK, and it's the third largest manufacturer in the UK, of course, and five times larger than anything Melrose has ever had any engagement with uh, previously. But we wouldn't be here if GKN had been better run over the years. Well, uh, GKN's not in trouble. Uh, GKN's a good, stable business in core sectors of the economy, both here in the UK and indeed across Europe and in the US. Melrose is a turnaround business, a short-term business. We classify them as an asset stripper. Uh, they take over businesses normally by indebting them, and they're proposing to put £1.4 billion pounds worth of debt on the balance sheet of GKN in order to pay shareholders uh, a one-off dividend. That's well, not good for GKN, it's not good for UK PLC or business. Well, except that GKN, of course, as part of their defence strategy, are going to sell off their powder metallurgy business, which is one of the more exciting parts of what they do. Well, we're in discussions with GKN, at least we can discuss uh, with GKN the future proposals for uh, their business. There's no doubt that GKN will need to change into the future, and we're part of that process of change. Uh, Melrose, however, on the other hand, have refused to even sit down and discuss their uh, business plan for, for GKN post any takeover. Yeah. You know, Melrose is a three to five year turnaround business. GKN is in the business of 10, 15, 20 year R&D programs with some of the largest manufacturing companies across the globe, including major defence contractors. Of course. I mean, one of the things that uh, they are going to do, GKN, assuming they survive this, is break themselves mm. in two. They, they currently have a big engineering, mm. uh, aerospace engineering on a big uh, automotive, automotive engineering. I mean, does that worry that they're going to break themselves up anyway, it's, it seems? Well, we're talking to GKN about that. And and we'll deal with that after we've dealt with the Melrose bid. Our priority right now is to get the government, actually, uh, the Secretary of State for Bayes, uh, Greg Clark, to intervene. The government have the ability to be able to do this in the national interests. We regard this as hugely significant for our interests on national security grounds. There isn't a major defence uh, product that GKN has not got its fingers in. It's a tier one major supplier. It invests huge amounts of money with the state, actually, and not just the British state, but other European and the US governments as well, in defence procurement. If you take that supply chain uh, out of the equation, this is a hugely vulnerable business. But if you look on the MOD's own websites, GK mm. are not, aren't even there as one of the top 15 suppliers. Well, because they're not a prime. They're not a prime manufacturer. They supply into a supply chain. And it's the synergies in the supply chain that are crucially important. What Melrose will do, of course, is for short-term profit, because that's what Melrose are, they're all about shareholder value. They're not about job security or communities or skills or our future sovereign capability in the areas of defence or anywhere else, for that matter. They're into short-term shareholder value within three to five years, turning it around, selling it on. So this business will be broken up and sold to the Chinese, the Russians, very often our opponents, of course, not just in a business sense, sometimes in a defence sense as well. And it's that insecurity which will destabilise this bid, I believe. Isn't your problem, though, that I mean, the government wasn't prepared to intervene to stop Arm Holdings, which is a much bigger company, mm. chip designer, wasn't prepared to stop that being sold to the Japanese. What hope, realistically, have you got of preventing GKM from being sold? Well, that was a mistake. I mean, the government should have intervened. The government proposes at least a industrial strategy for the UK, UK PLC. Well, this drives a coach and horses for any industrial strategy hopes that the government may have. Uh, and therefore, on those grounds alone, the government should, if it could, intervene and should do what it can. But there are specific grounds on national security and defence matters that do enable the Secretary of State, Greg Clark, to intervene. So we call on him to do exactly that and to stop the bid when it's tracks where it is now. All right, well, Steve Turner from the United Union. It's very good to see you. You are the first person we've been able to get on camera to talk about this takeover bid. So, very GK, yeah. Well, GK and Melrose, you know where we are. We'd love to see you as well.